Summertime is often synonymous with outdoor fun. While it's great to enjoy some fun in the sun, it's far more important to remember to protect yourself against harmful UV rays while in the great outdoors. Just one sunburn can increase your risk for skin cancer, the most common form of cancer in the United States. TGMC would like to remind the community of the importance of keeping your skin protected to reduce your chance of skin cancer and the importance of getting screened for skin cancer. Joining us tonight is radiation oncologist and welcome to this two-year health segment with Terrebonne General Medical Center. And again, joining us tonight, Dr. Jeffrey Long, radiation oncologist, also at TGMC. And Dr. Long, very nice to have you back on the program. It's a pleasure to be back here. Sure, and we appreciate you joining us as we're getting into the summer months. And as the intro mentioned, we're talking about mm -hmm. skin cancer. If you can just educate us, first of all, about UV rays and explain to our viewers what are UV rays. Sure. UV or ultraviolet rays are the harmful sun rays. Now, there's two types of UV, ultraviolet A or UVA rays and ultraviolet B, UVB rays. Um, UVB rays are the sun's burning rays and they're the main cause of sunburns. We'll talk more about that later. UVA rays can suppress the immune system and can lead to signs of premature aging. Excessive exposure to both forms of UV rays can lead to the development of skin cancer. Okay, and um, how does one protect themselves uh, from UV rays? Sure, you really want to limit the time that you're out in the sun, especially between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. because that's when the sun's rays are the strongest. You want to wear clothing to cover the skin. You want to wear long sleeve shirts, pants, sunglasses, and broad brimmed hats. And you certainly all year round, want to wear sunscreen with an SPF, that's a sun protection factor, of 30 or higher. If you're out in the sun for a long period of time, reapply that sunscreen every two hours, um, especially if you're swimming or sweating, maybe even more often than every two hours. You absolutely want to avoid tanning beds. and You want to be careful of any sun sensitizing medications that you might be taking. And if you're out in the sun for a period of time, Check your skin regularly. Look for any new developments or any discoloration that might be the earliest signs of a sunburn. Okay, and now you mentioned sunscreen. What type of sunscreen should I use? Choose a broad spectrum. That's UVA and UVB uh, sunscreen. You really want water resistant sunscreen. It should have an SPF of 30 or greater and you want to wear that year round for all skin types. Now, bottles or tubes of sunscreen that have the American Dermatology, uh, the American Academy of Dermatology seal on it meets the dermatologist's recommendations for sun protection. And you want to look at the ingredients of every sunscreen that you buy. If, you had ha if it has vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene, that boosts the sunscreen's sun blocking power. Ingredients like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and avobenzone help assure that that sunscreen gives you broad spectrum protection. Now, when you're applying sunscreen, of course the gels are a little bit easier on hairy spots, while creams are a little bit better and help soothe your face and dry skin areas. They do have spray on sunscreens, and those are certainly better for tough areas to reach, but you want to be real careful about spraying your face. Okay, and uh, we talked about sunburns. If you can just explain to everybody, what is a sunburn? Sure. Sunburns result from an overexposure to the UV rays. There's three types of sunburn, first degree, second degree, and third degree sunburns. We'll talk about each of them. Now, first degree sunburns are the most common and they're the easiest to recognize. With first degree sunburns, the skin is pink or perhaps even brighter red. The skin is painful to the touch and it affects only the outer layer of the skin. Uh, first degree sunburns usually cause only mild discomfort and they heal in about two to seven days. Uh, now it's important when a first degree sunburns healing not to pick or scratch at the skin while it's healing. Now second degree sunburns are mercifully less common than first degree sunburns, but they are extremely dangerous. Uh, they damage the nerve endings of the skin. Symptoms of a second degree sunburn are bright red to dark red skin. Uh, you may have blisters in the skin in the affected area. Uh, you can actually feel the heat from a second degree sunburn with your fingers over it. Uh, there's pain in the skin without even touching it and yet there can also be swelling of the affected area of the sunburn. Now the healing time for second degree sunburns is much longer. It's between two to three work weeks. Now 
Third degree sunburns, although rare, they uh, are potentially deadly. Mm -hmm. If you have a third degree sunburn, you really need to seek immediate medical care. What you look for for a serious third degree sunburn is dark red skin, dry looking skins with cracks or small fissures in it, um, and there's actually no pain with a third degree sunburn, and the reason is the nerve endings have been destroyed and can no longer feel any pain. Third degree sunburns, when they heal, very often leave some scar scarring and may even require some excision. Okay. Um, how important is it for us to protect ourselves at a young age? It is extremely important. Sun exposure that you get, that sunburn that you get as a child, can show up later in life as a skin cancer. Therefore, you really need to protect children at their earliest exposure to the sun. And parents, heads up on that, that's important. Okay, and you were talking about sunburns earlier. What should be done to treat a sunburn? Well, first degree sunburns can be treated at home with aloe or moisturizing cream applied to the affected areas regularly until they heal. Um, you can also take an anti-inflammatory medication, uh, which you get over the counter, and that can help a lot with the pain. As we said before, second degree sunburns, you really need to seek medical attention they can form blisters. You do not want to pop those blisters because that increases your risk of an infection. Now, a third degree sunburn, as we've said, you really need immediate medical attention. Now, if a person has developed a third degree sunburn, you want to put them into shade immediately. And you certainly don't want someone with a third degree sunburn to dunk them into cold water because that sudden change in temperature can actually produce shock. Rather, you want to place ice cubes on that third degree sunburn and give them ice water for drinking. Uh, additionally, if you have any of the following symptoms with any of the types of sunburns, it's recommended to seek out a physician. If you have fevers, chills, uh, nausea, or a rash outside the sunburned area, seek out a doctor. Okay, very important information. Let's take a short break, Dr. Long, and when we come back, we'll continue our discussion regarding sunburns and skin cancer. You can live with the joint pain, or you can go to the experts. Orthopedic Center at TGMC. It all begins here. Matthew takes pictures of insects, birds, his family. We love him so much. So when I was told I had breast cancer, I thought, what's my son going to do without me? My name is Valerie Manns, and I am so thankful I chose Mary Bird Perkins at TGMC for my cancer treatment. I had surgery and chemo, and everyone there was with me every step. I never felt like just a name on a folder. They treat you like family at Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC. No matter their health care needs, whether it's cancer care, cardiovascular surgery, a sleep disorder, or women's imaging and breast center, more people choose TGMC for life. Terrebonne General Medical Center. It all begins here. You can live with the joint pain, or you can go to the experts. Orthopedic Center at TGMC. It all begins here. Welcome back to To Your Health with Terrebonne General Medical Center. And again, joining us today uh, talking about skin cancer is Dr. Jeffrey Long, radiation oncologist at Mary Bird Perkins at Terrebonne General Medical Center. And again, Dr. Long, you were talking earlier about skin cancer. Uh, what is skin cancer? Well, that's a good question. Skin cancer is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal skin cells. Skin cancer typically develops on areas of the skin that get plenty of sun exposure. However, they can occur on areas that are rarely exposed to the skin. Now, a person's risk for melanoma, the most serious form of skin cancer, doubles if a person has had five or more sunburns in their life. Uh, the Skin Cancer Foundation says that 42% of people get sunburnt at least once a year, and that's too much. 
Wow. You mentioned melanoma. How often do you see melanoma? Tragically, all too regularly. Wow. Uh, how common is it to see melanoma here in the United States? It's increasingly common. It's estimated in 2013 in the United States we're going to see 77,000 new cases of melanoma. Wow, that's incredible. Um, what are some of the symptoms of skin cancer? Well, symptoms of skin cancer vary depending on its type, but it may involve new skin developments or changes in an existing skin feature. There's basal cell carcinoma. That typically occurs in a sun-exposed area like the face, ears, or scalp. Basal cell carcinoma may appear to look like a pearly or waxy bump or a flat flesh-colored brown scar-like lesion. Squamous cell carcinoma usually occurs, again, in sun-exposed areas like the face, lips, ears, or hands. A squamous cell carcinoma can look like a firm red nodule or a flat lesion with scaly surface. With melanoma, shockingly, the number of new cases of melanoma has increased dramatically between 1975 and 2008. In fact, the American Cancer Society estimates that we're going to see 76,690 new cases of melanoma in the United States in 2013. Now, melanoma can develop anywhere, including areas of the body that never see the sun or in an existing mole. Symptoms of melanoma may look like a large brownish spot with dark speckles, a mole that changes size, color, feel, or starts bleeding. Uh, it can also be a small lesion with an irregular border that's blue, black, red, or less commonly white. Um, a dark lesions that appear on your palms, your soles, or fingertips, or toes can be how a melanoma appears as. Uh, it can even appear in the mucous membranes of your body. Okay. Um, what factors increase the risk of skin cancer? There's a lot of factors that increase your risk. Some of the most significant include prior sunburns, fair skin, excessive time in the sun, sunny or high altitude climates, moles, those with a family history of skin cancer, weakened immune system, exposure to certain substances, uh, arsenic for example, and aging. Okay, now is it easier to treat skin cancer if it's caught early? Now here's the really good news. For the common types of skin cancer, if you catch them early, they're nearly 100% curable. Oh wow, but how do you catch the skin cancer early? That's important too. Know what you're looking for. You look for any abnormal looking moles, and if you have any questions about something growing or something that you're concerned about being a skin cancer, please see your primary care doctor or dermatologist. Let me ask you, Dr. Long, does Mary Bird Perkins uh, Cancer Center at TGMC provide any screening program? Well, skin cancer is a serious problem, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC, we're fighting back. We're fighting back with our Early Bird Mobile Medical Clinic, and we're going to have, in the next several weeks, three screenings for specifically designed for screening for skin cancer. We're trying to catch skin cancer early when it's highly curable. On May 21st, we're going to be at the Dulac Community Center, 125 Coast Guard Road in Dulac. That will be screening will be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. May 24th, and by the way, mark this on your calendars, folks. We're going to be at Canadas, that's 6010 Highway 182 East in Morgan City. Again, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then again, on May 29th, we'll be doing our skin cancer screening at the American Legion, and that will be at 4990. Highway 56 in Chauvin from, again, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, for more information on skin cancer or for getting screened or for signing up for any of those screenings, please call TGMC and call this number, 985-873-4616. Or, of course, you can visit the Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center website at www.marybird.com forward slash TGMC. Dr. Long, it's been a pleasure, and this was a very important topic, and we appreciate uh, you being with us tonight. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Sure thing. And with that, that's Dr. Jeffrey Long, radiation oncologist uh, with Mary Bird's Perkins Cancer Center at TGMC, and we'll be back with more.